To sport and the Prada Cup is back and along with it American Magic's AC75 Patriot. The Americans have fixed their boat and will take on Italy's Luna Rossa this afternoon in the semi-finals of the Prada Cup. Victor Waters is standing by on the Auckland Viaduct. Victor, how are conditions looking for today? Afternoon, Chris. Well, conditions are actually looking looking very good. South South Westerly winds are predicted for later today between 16 and 20 knots. Course C has been chosen for racing today. Today also marks just the third time American Magic will have been on the water since fixing their boat after capsizing it earlier in the Prada Cup. Uh, uh, so let's see how they get on. Racing is set to start at around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Of course, remember, there are two races, and you can catch all the action here on TVNZ1. Looking forward to it. Thanks very much. Victor Waters live for us from the Auckland Viaduct. Well, Liverpool has... Because Cup fans were holding their breath as the patched-up American Magic boat returned to the race course this afternoon. And while they made it around the course safely, there was damage done on the scoreboard. News Hub reporter Melissa Chan Green is at the Viaduct for us now. And Mel, will they be happy with how they went? Well, yeah, not, not if they're looking at the scoreboard, Mitch, but that doesn't mean that there aren't some positives that they can take out of that race because they're, they're racing at the upper end of the wind conditions that they're allowed to race in in the Prada Cup. And at some point, they were absolutely flying, 53 knots at the top speed, so that's just under 100 k's. There was a time, though, around gate six, uh, on leg six, when American Magic just totally crashed down. It's really shifty conditions out there. The crew looked really worried. Um, it also caused them to cross the boundary, so they also got a boundary penalty. And Luna Rossa really were in control of that race right from the start. There was a very cool, calm, collected Jimmy Spittle and Francesco Bruni at the helm. OK, Mel, what's the feeling down there at the moment? Is there a favourite emerging among the fans? Well, I think the majority of people that we've spoken to that are Kiwis down here are actually supporting American Magic. I think there's um, been a bit of sympathy for them around since that capsize, and they want to see a fairy tale comeback story. There was a huge crowd that cheered them off as they left the dock this morning, and there was a lucky charm that the team are wearing today. I don't know if you remember the lucky socks of 1995, the red socks on Team New Zealand. Well... This campaign, uh, Team uh, American Magic are wearing their American flag socks. But Luna Rossa have one very notable Kiwi fan, and that's former All Black captain Richie McCaw. He was at their headquarters this morning and was seen hugging them as they left. So perhaps he gave them a bit of a pep talk that has mm. helped them out there on the water. Very interesting. Melissa Chan Green at the Viaduct. Mal, thank you very much. Massive problems today for American Magic as it returned to racing for the first time since their disastrous capsize. In the first race of the Prada Cup semi-final, Lunarossa sailed themselves into the lead from the pre-start and then built on that lead. Then a mistake from the Americans as they rounded the fifth marker at nearly 100 kilometres an hour. Get that boat flat, boys. Oh, there's a big hill here. And they'll splash down. That was close. We nearly saw them capsize penalty once penalty again. Penalty. The Italians ahead at the finish by 2 minutes and 43 seconds. Well, the Americans suffered another massive splashdown in losing the second race by another huge margin. The rain... Out of control speeds and a near capsize. This wasn't the comeback American Magic was hoping for in the Prada Cup semi-finals. Now on the brink of elimination, the Americans have it all to do after another tough day at the office. Michelle Prendeville has the day's drama. Oh, here we go, here we go. Same move, same outcome, same nightmare for American Magic. That's done. That's done and it's healing over as well. This wasn't the fairy tale return they were hoping for. American Magic's boat, Patriots, still unstable and unreliable. You know, on top of the conditions today just being hard, um, you know, I think, I think we just have to sail better. On Patriots' third day back out on the water, band-aids and all, Jimmy Spittle and Luna Rossa could smell weakness. Jimmy Spittle yeah, saying, we're going to lock him, let's lock him there. Hunting down Dean Barker pre-start of race one. Dean Barker on board, he's trying desperately to get out of this position now. From there, the Italians had it in the bag. Hitting faster speeds, a clearly stronger boat. Patriot, on the other hand. American Magic, to me, looked like they're having a few control issues. Just not.
not responding the way they needed it to. At one point, out of control, hitting more than 50 knots. Get that boat flat, boys. I got it. Oh, there's a big heel here. And they'll splash down. And it continued to be worse for Patriot in race two. Oh, it's just not pretty on that boat. Punished for every wrong move, with Luna Rossa racing out to yet another strong lead. And while the Italians had their own hairy moment. Oh, that, look at this from Luna Rossa. That's got very loose, and they splash down. Not even that was enough to save American Magic's problems. Patriot showing absolutely no reliability. Oh, touchdown, no. Sideways skid, big rudder ventilation. The rudder, one of the main issues. You know, in our, our little uh, tip over a couple weeks ago, uh, you know, the, it was quite bent, so it's been straightened since the last time we sailed, and you know, maybe we're seeing some of the effects of that. Luna Rossa riding on a high, taking two victories today. We are very happy. Uh, difficult conditions. There must be a good reason to talk to you, and it's a win, so I'm very happy. But for American Magic, it's the small wins. Their campaign is still afloat. Only just. Michelle Prindeville, One News.